Why does the black man serve the white man? Why does everything the black man do benefit the white man? Why does the black man say freedom is doing what I want to do? And why is it that everything he wants to do enriches the European? Welcome to the desert of the real. At this time, I'm going to bring a caller in with not the hand up at this time. 3704, welcome to In the Paint. Please introduce yourself. Where are you calling from? Yo, this is Hollop from Brooklyn. Brother Man. Yes, sir. What's up? What's up, Hollop? Peace. How you doing? Happy New Year. Happy New yes, Year, yes. everybody. Happy New Year, brother. Likewise, mm-hmm. brother. Yes. What's up, Brother Man? I'm good. What's up, Ivy? She oh, I, dropped. I think she dropped. Oh, she dropped? She dropped. Oh. Yeah, yeah, she dropped. Yeah, I didn't. I, I wasn't really calling about the mm-hmm. topic. I just called because I heard all of y'all on the phone at the same time. So I said, "Let me call and say what's up." <laughs> 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 I know. I know. We haven't really spoken, you know, since mm-hmm. you know Dev passed. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yeah. Indeed. I, Indeed. I've been. Indeed. I've been. You know. Mm-hmm. Processing and just trying to understand mm-hmm. shit and. Right. Figuring out how to move forward. <laughs> right. Yeah, man. Well, it was definitely a devastating loss, that's for sure. And it's a, obviously a lot to process, brother. You know what I'm saying? It's a lot to process. Yeah. You know, since that time. That, that goes without, without saying. So completely understandable, man. You know? Mm-hmm. But uh, we've been j- joking around about this whole Brady thing, man. You know what I'm saying? I've been, I've been having fun with it. You know, <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? I mean, it, it is what it is, man. I'm just like, wow, this guy. He he's really truly. When you say a piece of shit, oh, well, there you go. That's that's. But you know, what it is. I he's, can give my viewpoint <laughs> from an outside perspective because I'm not mm-hmm. really, you know, I'm not a I'm not a Patriots fan, but I do mm-hmm. respect their organization. Right, right. right. I don't mm-hmm. I don't have a a thing against the Patriots. You know, mm-hmm. so I can I can mm-hmm. speak objectively on them, and right. um, my my thoughts mirror, you know, what Minister was saying. It's like, but you know, the thing about it is, since you want to be the man, you know, mm-hmm. and you're at that mm-hmm. point where you you know you've made you've rung your rings and you're at the you know, <clears throat> the end of your career, mm-hmm. um, and you don't want to. Mentor the next person or pass the knowledge on so that someone can take over. Well, just be prepared mm-hmm. to take them hits. Yep. <laughs> you yep. know, just be prepared okay. to get your your clock. <laughs> you know, you better get that zero one helmet. Because <laughs> <laughs> I've well, been seeing them lately, and they coming they coming for that ass. Right. Yes, sir. <laughs> so you you hold that weight. Right. Right. You know, I mean, everything, every every reaction has an equal and opposite reaction. You know what I'm saying? So, so since, since you want to be the man, let's see how you handle that. Exactly. Hmm. You know what I mean? Oh, we got we got Ivy back. Uh, her mic is live. Uh, yeah. You know? Yeah. Peace, Ivy. Yo, peace, Ivy. let me ask you what you think about. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Go ahead. Go ahead. Paula, let me ask you what yeah, you think man. about this. So, so. Mm-hmm. R brought up something I thought was very uh, um, very interesting, and that is when you talk about a star person being a jerk slash asshole, mm-hmm. it is my position, though, that most of the superstars are assholes. Right. Mm-hmm. And I'm going to tell you why. Because, you know, the, th- the thing about it is this. Like, I'm going through this right now with myself where – um, I, I dedicated my, my, my whole year this year. I'm like, you know what? I'm going to put my best foot forward, get myself out of poverty. So I'm not going to no poetry things, you know, people, because, you know, I do a lot of that. I go to a lot of those things that have me speak during the, um, you know, spoken word and stuff like that and other stuff like that. I'm only going to essential stuff. I'm not going to that. I'm not going to all of these other frivolous things. And the people be like, oh, man, Brother Dow, we missed you here, we missed you there. And then, you know, they take – and I say, listen, son, I told you I'm trying to get out of poverty. Like, I told you I'm not going to be at all of these things. 
And what it makes mm. me think of is this, is that you have to devote a lot of time to be great at anything. And I'm 46 years old, but when you devote mm. a lot of time to being good at something, when you're in your teens and your 20s, there is certain social intelligence and social emotional development I believe that you miss. So when you sit there and you talk about how Kobe Bryant could be a jerk, Michael Jordan could be a jerk, and now Tom Brady could be a jerk, to me, it's more so par for the course because mm-hmm. these dudes did not have time to socially develop. It was in the gym somewhere, and then in the summertime, mm-hmm. where was you at in the summertime? You were hanging with your friends and maybe doing something, maybe with a parent or whatever. These people were at basketball camp and football camp. They didn't socialize. And so, to me, I just think for you to be to be great is one thing, but to be a superstar, you have to really be blessed to be a good person and be a superstar because I just think that you missed a lot of emotional steps in your development as well as, like, you know what I'm saying, like um, just, just, mm-hmm. just psychological growth. What do you think? Um, let me back up what you're saying. I saw an interview with Will Smith on Jimmy Kimmel. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And Will Smith said that he's friends with like Michael Jordan and um, Tiger Woods, and he said he thought that he was competitive. He said he don't, he can't hold a candle next to these guys. He said Michael Jordan is so competitive, he'll actually bet you on who can finish their drink first. Wow! <laughs> wow! Jesus. Like he said, these guys are like he said, and, and you, in order for you to get to that position. You got to be that way. Like, if you're going to be superstar mm-hmm. level, those guys got to be kind of like almost autistic in a way. Mm-hmm. Right. Mm-hmm. Right. You know? Right. So, so, so yeah, what you're saying has a lot of validity. It's like, mm-hmm. um, and Will Smith is a successful dude, you know? Mm-hmm. He I, obviously is strong. I, I obviously has a good work ethic. So if he's saying, right. man, I can't even hold a candle to these guys competitive right. with their competitive right. nature, then they give you an idea of what you're dealing with. Exactly. Right. Can can mm-hmm. I add on Please. about Tom sure. Brady? Um, Tom Brady always he he was sort of overlooked in high school. He was overlooked right. in college. When he came into the NFL, he wasn't a first round draft pick. He was no. picked in what the fifth round. And yeah. playing quarterback is just one person playing that position at a time. Mm-hmm. So. He's like, yo, y'all, I'm here, and nobody's taking this away from me ever. Right, right. He don't, he don't want, he want all the reps in practice. Mm-hmm. He ain't coming out of games and blowouts, whether they winning or losing. No. Nope. Nope. So <laughs> he's just, he's like, yo, y'all not moving me until right. whatever, but you're not moving me. And um, well, right. like I, I said, that. Mm-hmm. But I, I think <laughs> you, you know. If you want to be that way, that's cool. You know, like that is an yeah. option. Like, like, really, it's a, it's our opinion. He doesn't right. really have to owe anybody anything, and doesn't have to pass the knowledge on. He don't have to. There's no law that says that you got to no. do that. You know, right, it's just right. that if you care about the team or you care about you know the organization, that's something that you would do. And your mm-hmm. legacy. But since you don't, and it's all about you, then hold that weight, son. <laughs> <laughs> Hold that weight. <laughs> when you lying on the ground concussed, don't let no backup quarterback come in. Get your shit together and get back in that fucking huddle. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know what? His Word. wife has said he has had concussions, and other people say he's had mm-hmm. some concussions that he won't admit to. Mm-hmm. So maybe that's better, it. Better get that Vicus Zero One helmet. <laughs> Because your your ability to to keep them dudes off your ass decrease as time goes on. Yep. Mm. So you know, hey, you want to be the man? Hold that <laughs> weight. Because I'm all for it. like if you have the ability to hold that weight, then I can't complain, man. Right. Right. But don't start crying and bitching and moaning when they start popping that ass. <laughs> And if y'all oh, have man. been seeing what's going on lately, like the the pops are coming. Oh yeah! Wow. Yeah, he's slow in the pocket. He actually he got some injuries right now. Mm. 
Well, basically, he's been hit a lot. Mm-hmm. The word is out that after after week twelve, Tom Brady starts to decline every year. Mm. That that's true. Well, so I I, I couldn't tell you because I haven't seen you know uh, a game this year. So I, I you know, but I go by. Oh, the neither team, have I. The huh? I can see, see the highlights. highlights. I haven't mm-hmm. seen the highlights. Say, I don't even look at that. I'm like, whatever, you know. But um, I go by what look you guys say. Mm-hmm. He's been he's oh. been hit more times this year than probably mm-hmm. any time in his career. Um, he's also wow. been throwing interceptions. You know, it's, mm-hmm. it's mm-hmm. low this year, but he's thrown some interceptions at the wrong time, which is something Tom Brady doesn't mm-hmm. do. And they said I agree. Hmm? I agree with what Ivy said. Um, you can like him or hate him or whatever. He's going to mm-hmm. be considered the greatest quarterback of all time. Mm-hmm. He's got five rings. Yeah. What else do you have to prove, dude? You've proven, you know, that you're the man. Mm-hmm. You know, the, the the logical thing would be to help that next mm-hmm. generation of quarterback. That would be, exactly. Right. You know, that would nobody's going to get gonna five tell you Super Bowl rings. Mm-hmm. I'm going to throw you a lob hole, and I, know, I think I know you know where I'm going with this. You see now, okay, so this is a perfect example of somebody thinking that the world and the organization is built around them. Yep. And yeah. Right. Instead of attempting, because if you love the organization, mind you, the organization paid you hundreds of millions of dollars over these years and allowed you to become a star, instead of attempting to preserve the organization, you made it about you. Mm-hmm. And so now the organization has to wait with bated breath for you to retire. And once mm-hmm. that happens, the coach got so pissed off at what went down, the coach traded the two, fran- you know, basically two franchise quarterbacks, Jacoby Brissett and Jimmy Garoppolo. So now he's telling his coordinators to go seek other jobs. So basically yep. the coach is so mad, he wants to screw the organization and dismantle mm-hmm. the whole system. Mm-hmm. And – you know, so once Tom Brady retires or gets knocked out, whichever comes first, and if Belichick retires this year and both the, the coordinators go, then we mm-hmm. New England Patriots fans, we we don't we're not gonna know what the hell we celebrating or or, or root for. <laughs> back, back, back to the me. abyss. Back and to Billy Check, exactly. Billy Check exactly. is another dude that, and that's one of the reasons why I respect the Patriots because I like Billy Check. I've always right. liked him. Right. No, no matter even if he was playing for the Patriots or whatever, I've always respected him. Right. Because that's my giant dude. Dude came from the Giants. Mm-hmm. Yep. Right. So you know, um, so he's 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 seeing the writing on the wall. Right. Indeed. You know, mm-hmm. so that's what's going on. He's like, oh, y'all dudes is on some bullshit. Okay. <laughs> This this talk he may come back home. Oh, I would love it if he did. But I, I don't know. He's he's accomplished so much. Maybe he just needs to retire and, and yeah. you know do his thing. Exactly. It was war they wanted and war they got, but they put the inner heat where my own got hot when I. 